Christmas Eve is the evening or entire day before Christmas Day, the festival commemorating the birth of Jesus. Christmas Day is observed around the world, and Christmas Eve is widely observed as a full or partial holiday in anticipation of Christmas Day. Together, both days are considered one of the most culturally significant celebrations in Christendom and Western society. Christmas celebrations in the denominations of Western Christianity have long begun on the night of the 24th, due in part to the Christian liturgical day starting at sunset, a practice inherited from Jewish tradition and based on the story of creation in the book of Genesis. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. Many churches still ring their church bells and hold prayers in the evening, for example, the Nordic Lutheran churches. Since tradition holds that Jesus was born at night, based in Luke chapter 2 verses 6 to 8, midnight mass is celebrated on Christmas Eve, traditionally at midnight, in commemoration of his birth. The idea of Jesus being born at night is reflected in the fact that Christmas Eve is referred to as Heilige Nacht, Holy Night, in German, Nochebuena, the Good Night, in Spanish and similarly in other expressions of Christmas spirituality, such as the song, Silent Night, Holy Night. Many other varying cultural traditions and experiences are also associated with Christmas Eve around the world, including the gathering of family and friends, the singing of Christmas carols, the illumination and enjoyment of Christmas lights, trees, and other decorations, the wrapping, exchange and opening of gifts, and general preparation for Christmas Day. Legendary Christmas gift-bearing figures including Santa Claus, Father Christmas, Christkind, and Saint Nicholas are also often said to depart for their annual journey to deliver presents to children around the world on Christmas Eve, although until the Protestant introduction of Christkind in 16th century Europe, such figures were said to instead deliver presents on the eve of Saint Nicholas's feast day, the 6th of December. Religious traditions Western churches Roman Catholics and High Church Anglicans traditionally celebrate Midnight Mass, which begins either at or sometime before midnight on Christmas Eve. This ceremony, which is held in churches throughout the world, celebrates the birth of Christ, which is believed to have occurred at night. Midnight Mass is popular in Poland, Pasterka. In recent years some churches have scheduled their Midnight Mass as early as 7 p.m. In Spanish-speaking areas, the Midnight Mass is sometimes referred to as Misa de Gallo, or Misa do Gallo in Portuguese. Rooster's Mass. In the Philippines, the custom has expanded into the nine-day Simbang Gabi, when Filipinos attend Don Masses, traditionally beginning around 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, from 16 December, continuing daily until Christmas Eve. In 2009 Vatican officials scheduled the Midnight Mass to start at 10 p.m. so that the 82-year-old Pope Benedict XVI would not have too late a night. Whilst it does not include any kind of Mass, the Church of Scotland has a service beginning just before midnight, in which carols are sung. The Church of Scotland no longer holds Hogmanay services on New Year's Eve, however. The Christmas Eve services are still very popular. On Christmas Eve, the Christ candle in the center of the Advent wreath is traditionally lit in many church services. In candlelight services, while singing Silent Night, each member of the congregation receives a candle and passes along their flame which is first received from the Christ candle. Lutherans traditionally practice Christmas Eve Eucharistic traditions typical of Germany and Scandinavia. Krippenspiel Nativity plays, special festive music for organ, vocal and brass choirs and candlelight services make Christmas Eve one of the highlights in the Lutheran church calendar. A nativity scene may be erected indoors or outdoors, and is composed of figurines depicting the infant Jesus resting in a manger, Mary, and Joseph. Other figures in the scene may include angels, shepherds, and various animals. The figures may be made of any material, and arranged in a stable or grotto. The Magi may also appear, and are sometimes not placed in the scene until the week following Christmas to account for their travel time to Bethlehem. While most home nativity scenes are packed away at Christmas or shortly thereafter, nativity scenes in churches usually remain on display until the Feast of the Baptism of the Lord. Christmas Vespers are popular in the early evening, and midnight services are also widespread in regions which are predominantly Lutheran. The old Lutheran tradition of a Christmas vigil in the early morning hours of Christmas Day Christmet, can still be found in some regions. 
In Eastern and Middle Germany, congregations still continue the tradition of Quempas singing. Separate groups dispersed in various parts of the church sing verses of the song, He whom shepherds once came praising. Quem pastores laudavir responsibly. Methodists celebrate the evening in different ways. Some, in the early evening, come to their church to celebrate Holy Communion with their families. The mood is very solemn, and the only visible light is the Advent wreath, and the candles upon the Lord's table. Others celebrate the evening with services of light, which include singing the song Silent Night as a variety of candles, including personal candles, are lit. Other churches have late evening services perhaps at 11 p.m., so that the church can celebrate Christmas Day together with the ringing of bells at midnight. Others offer Christmas Day services as well. The annual Nine Lessons and Carols Broadcast from King's College, Cambridge on Christmas Eve, has established itself a Christmas custom in the United Kingdom. It is broadcast outside the UK via the BBC World Service, and is also bought by broadcasters around the world. Eastern Churches In the Byzantine Rite, Christmas Eve is referred to as paramony. Preparation it is the concluding day of the Nativity Fast and is observed as a day of strict fasting by those devout Byzantine Christians who are physically capable of doing so. In some traditions, nothing is eaten until the first star appears in the evening sky, in commemoration of the Star of Bethlehem. The liturgical celebration begins earlier in the day with the celebration of the royal hours, followed by the divine liturgy combined with the celebration of Vespers, during which a large number of passages from the Old Testament are chanted, recounting the history of salvation. After the dismissal at the end of the service, a new candle is brought out into the center of the church and lit, and all gather round and sing the troparion and Kentakian of the feast. In the evening, the all-night vigil for the Feast of the Nativity is composed of Great Compline, Matins and the First Hour. The Byzantine services of Christmas Eve are intentionally parallel to those of Good Friday, illustrating the theological point that the purpose of the Incarnation was to make possible the crucifixion and resurrection. This is illustrated in Eastern icons of the Nativity, on which the Christ child is wrapped in swaddling clothes reminiscent of his burial wrappings. The child is also shown lying on a stone, representing the tomb of Christ, rather than a manger. The cave of the Nativity is also a reminder of the cave in which Jesus was buried. The services of Christmas Eve are also similar to those of the Eve of Theophany, Epiphany, and the two great feasts are considered one celebration. In some Orthodox cultures, after the Vesperal Liturgy the family returns home to a festive meal, but one at which Orthodox fasting rules are still observed, no meat or dairy products, milk, cheese, eggs, etc., are consumed, see below for variations according to nationality. Then they return to the church for the all-night vigil. The next morning, Christmas Day, the Divine Liturgy is celebrated again, but with special features that occur only on great feasts of the Lord. After the dismissal of this liturgy, the faithful customarily greet each other with the kiss of peace and the words, Christ is born, to which the one being greeted responds, Glorify him. These are the opening words of the canon of the Nativity that was chanted the night before during the vigil. This greeting, together with many of the hymns of the feast, continue to be used until the leave taking of the feast on 29 December. The first three days of the feast are particularly solemn. The second day is known as the Synaxis of the Theotokos, and commemorates the role of the Virgin Mary in the Nativity of Jesus. The third day is referred to simply as the third day of the Nativity. The Saturday and Sunday following 25 December have special epistle and gospel readings assigned to them. The 29 December celebrates the Holy Innocence. Byzantine Christians observe a festal period of twelve days, during which no one in the church fasts, even on Wednesdays and Fridays, which are normal fasting days throughout the rest of the year. During this time one feast leads into another, 25-31 December is the afterfeast of the Nativity, 2-5 January is the forefeast of the Epiphany. Meals Bulgaria in Bulgaria, the meal consists of an odd number of Lenten dishes in compliance with the rules of fasting. 
They are usually the traditional sarma, bob korba, bean soup, fortune kravai, pastry with a fortune in it, also called bogovitsa, vetranik, kolodnik, stuffed peppers, nuts, dried fruit, boiled wheat. The meal is often accompanied with wine or Bulgaria's traditional alcoholic beverage rakia, in the past, olivina, a type of homemade rye beer. The meals used to be put on top of hay, directly on the floor, together with a plowshare or a coulter. France in French-speaking places, Revelon is a long dinner eaten on Christmas Eve. Italy While other Christian families throughout the world celebrate the Christmas Eve meal with various meats, Italians, especially Sicilians, celebrate the traditional Catholic Feast of the Seven Fishes, which was historically served after a 24-hour fasting period. Although Christmas fasting is no longer a popular custom, some Italian Americans still enjoy a meatless Christmas Eve feast and attend the Midnight Mass. In various cultures, a festive dinner is traditionally served for the family and close friends in attendance, when the first star, usually Sirius, arrives on the sky. Poland A similar tradition, Wigilia, or Christmas Vigil exists in Poland. The number of dishes used to be traditionally an odd number, usually 5, 7, 9, or 11, according to the Slonik Etymologiczny Jezika Polskiego Etymological Dictionary of the Polish Language by Alexander Bruckner. The number of dishes was traditionally related to social class. The peasants' vigil consisted of 5 or 7 dishes, the gentry usually had 9, and the aristocracy, 11 dishes, but the even number 12 is also found today to remember the 12 disciples. It is obligatory to try a portion of all of them. Some traditions specify that the number of guests cannot be odd. In Poland, gifts are unwrapped on the Christmas Eve, as opposed to the Christmas Day. Russia, Ukraine and Lithuania In Russia, Ukraine, and Lithuania, a traditional meatless 12 dishes Christmas Eve supper is served on Christmas Eve before opening gifts. This is known as the Holy Meal. Kushios in Lithuania. The table is spread with a white cloth symbolic of the swaddling clothes the child Jesus was wrapped in, and a large white candle stands in the center of the table symbolizing Christ the light of the world. Next to it is a round loaf of bread symbolizing Christ bread of life. Hay is often displayed either on the table or as a decoration in the room, reminiscent of the manger in Bethlehem. The twelve dishes, which differ by nationality or region, symbolize the twelve apostles. The Holy Meal was a common Eastern Orthodox tradition in the Russian Empire, but during the era of the Soviet Union it was greatly discouraged as a result of the official atheism of the former regime. It is coming back in Russia and continues to be popular in Ukraine. The main attributes of Holy Meal in Ukraine are kusha, a poppy seed, honey and wheat dish, and uzbar, a drink made from reconstituted dried fruits. Other typical dishes are borscht, veroniki, and dishes made of fish, faziolus and cabbage. Serbia In accordance with the Christmas traditions of the Serbs, their festive meal has a copious and diverse selection of foods, although it is prepared according to the rules of fasting. As well as a round, unleavened loaf of bread and salt, which are necessary, this meal may comprise roast fish, cooked beans, sauerkraut, noodles with ground walnuts, honey, and wine. Families in some Slavic countries leave an empty place at the table for guests, alluding to Mary and Joseph looking for shelter in Bethlehem. Gift giving during the Reformation in 16th and 17th century Europe, many Protestants changed the gift bringer to the Christ child or Christkindle, and the date of giving gifts changed from 6 December to Christmas Eve. It is the night when Santa Claus makes his rounds delivering gifts to good children. Many trace the custom of giving gifts to the Magi who brought gifts for the Christ child in the manger. In the Czech Republic, Slovakia, Croatia and Hungary, where St. Nicholas S.V. Nicholas, St. Nicholas gives his sweet gifts on 6 December. The Christmas gift giver is the child Jesus, Jezusik in Czech, Jezuska in Hungarian, Jezusko in Slovak and Isusik in Croatian. In most parts of Austria, Germany, Poland, Hungary, Czech Republic and Switzerland, presents are traditionally exchanged on the evening of 24 December. Children are commonly told that presents were brought either by the Christkind, German for Christ child, or by the Weinachsmann. 
Both leave the gifts, but are in most families not seen doing so. In Germany, the gifts are also brought on 6 December by the Nikolaus, with his helper Necht Ruprecht. In Estonia Julubana, in Finland Julapuki, in Norway Julanesen and in Sweden Jultomten, personally meets children and gives presents in the evening of Christmas Eve. In Argentina, Austria, Brazil, Bulgaria, Colombia, Denmark, Estonia, the Faroe Islands, Finland, France, Germany, Hungary, Slovakia, Iceland, Latvia, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Norway, Poland, Portugal, Quebec, Romania, Uruguay, Slovenia, Sweden, Switzerland and the Czech Republic, Christmas presents are opened mostly on the evening of the 24th, following German tradition, this is also the practice among the British royal family since it was introduced by Queen Victoria and Al Albert, Prince Consort, while in Italy, the United States, the United Kingdom, Republic of Ireland, English Canada, South Africa, New Zealand and Australia, this occurs mostly on the morning of Christmas Day. In other Latin American countries, people stay awake until midnight, when they open the presents. In Spain, gifts are traditionally opened on the morning of 6 January, Epiphany Day. Dia de los Tres Reyes Magos. Though in some other countries, like Argentina and Uruguay, people receive presents both around Christmas and on the morning of Epiphany Day. In Belgium and the Netherlands Saint Nicholas or Sinterklaas and his companion Zwarte Piet deliver presents to children and adults alike on the evening of 5 December, the eve of his name day. On 24 the December they go to church or watch the late night mass on TV, or have a meal. Christmas Eve around the world Christmas Eve is celebrated in different ways around the world, varying by country and region. Elements common to many areas of the world include the attendance of special religious observances such as a midnight mass or vespers, and the giving and receiving of presents. Along with Easter, Christmas time is one of the most important periods on the Christian calendar, and is often closely connected to other holidays at this time of year, such as Advent, the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, St. Nicholas Day, St. Stephen. S. Day, New Year. S. and the Feast of the Epiphany. Celebrations Among Christians, as well as non-Christians who celebrate Christmas, the significant amount of vacation travel, and travel back to family homes, that takes place in the lead up to Christmas means that Christmas Eve is also frequently a time of social events and parties, worldwide. In Jewish culture Middle Nacht is a name given to Christmas Eve by Jewish scholars in the 17th century. In contemporary American Jewish culture With Christmas Day a work holiday throughout the United States, there is a space of unfilled free time during which much of American commerce and society is not functioning, and which can give rise to a sense of loneliness or alienation for American Jews. Jews also typically do not engage in the family gathering and religious worship activities that are central to Christmas Eve for Christians. Typical contemporary activities have usually been limited to Chinese and a movie. Consuming a meal at a Chinese restaurant, which tend to be open for business on the Christmas holiday, and watching a movie at the theater or at home, stereotypically a rerun of It's a Wonderful Life. Since the 1980s a variety of social events for young Jews have sprung up, and become popular, on Christmas Eve. These include the matzah ball, the ball, and a number of local events organized by Jewish communities and local Jewish federations in North America. Historical events a number of historical events have been influenced by the occurrence of Christmas Eve. Christmas Truce During World War I in 1914 and 1915 there was an unofficial Christmas truce, particularly between British and German troops. The truce began on Christmas Eve, 24 December 1914, when German troops began decorating the area around their trenches in the region of Ypres, Belgium, for Christmas. They began by placing candles on trees, then continued the celebration by singing Christmas carols, most notably Stilly Nacht, Silent Night. The British troops in the trenches across from them responded by singing English carols. The two sides shouted Christmas greetings to each other. Soon there were calls for visits across the No Man's Land 
when small gifts were exchanged. The truce also allowed a breathing space during which recently killed soldiers could be brought back behind their lines by burial parties. Funerals took place as soldiers from both sides mourned the dead together and paid their respects. At one funeral in no man's land, soldiers from both sides gathered and read a passage from Psalm chapter 23. The truce occurred in spite of opposition at higher levels of the military command. Earlier in the autumn, a call by Pope Benedict XV for an official truce between the warring governments had been ignored. Apollo 8 reading from Genesis on 24 December 1968, in what was the most watched television broadcast to that date, the astronauts Bill Anders, Jim Lovell and Frank Borman of Apollo 8 surprised the world with a reading of the creation from the Book of Genesis as they orbited the Moon. Madeleine Murray O'Hare, an atheist activist, filed a lawsuit under the Establishment Clause of the First Amendment. The U.S. Supreme Court dismissed the suit. In 1969, the United States Postal Service issued a stamp, Scott Hash 1371, commemorating the Apollo 8 flight around the Moon. The stamp featured a detail of the famous photograph, Earthrise, of the Earth. Rising. Over the Moon, NASA image is August 14, 2383 HR, taken by Anders on Christmas Eve, and the words, In the Beginning God. See also Christmas Date Nativity of Jesus Santa Claus Winter Holiday Season References External links Media related to Christmas Eve at Wikimedia Commons